to it. We would be needing the following for the purpose of this video. A computer of course, VS Code, JDK, Salesforce CLI and Salesforce Extension Pack. Before we dive into the installations, let's first try to understand these jargons in a layman's term. VS Code or Visual Studio Code is an IDE. An IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. Think of it as an application that lets you write code in a code editor. But this code editor is not an ordinary one. It can tell you if you are making mistakes while writing the code. It offers features like automatic code line completion and if your code is not working as you expect it to, an IDE can help you debug the code which is basically finding out what went wrong. Now you must be thinking if we are going to write code in Apex, which if you are not aware is a language similar to Java using which we can write code for Salesforce platform development. Why the heck are we installing JDK which stands for Java Development Kit? Well, that is because in order to extend the functionalities of our IDE, in this case VS Code, we are going to install few extensions. Extensions for an IDE are like applications for your smartphone. They basically intend to serve a specific purpose by extending the features of your phone. Some of these Salesforce extensions for VS Code require Java platform. Coming to Salesforce CLI. CLI stands for Command Line Interface. Broadly, any user interface can be divided into either graphics based or text based. You dragging or dropping a file from one folder to another is an example of communicating with the computer using graphical interface. If the same task you perform using text based instructions, it's achieved with the character user interface or the CUI. But the question is, why should we use this boring interface when we have a better looking and easy to understand graphical interface? Well, the answer is very straightforward. Because you can't perform everything using GUI, specifically the complex tasks, which would require a ton of points and clicks. It is more powerful and time saving as well. If you have seen command prompt in Windows and terminal in Mac, these are some examples of character user interface. Salesforce CLI is kind of the same. It has predefined commands that can be used to tell your application what to do. Without installing this, your computer would not recognize Salesforce specific commands like SFDX. Again, Salesforce extension pack is a collection of extensions specific to Salesforce that would help us write quality code in Visual Studio. All right, that was a lot of theory. Let's move to the practical part now.
Follow these steps and you should be fine. Alright, that is it for today's video guys.